What's going on, homie dudes? It's Satanic Brownies. Welcome to the second video of my YouTube channel. Today will be an unboxing and a review of one of the guns that I have a lot of, and it is the Nerf Mega Big Shock. I really love this gun. Very small, very good pocket gun. But, uh, yeah, you may have seen that I have a lot of these in the last video that I did, which was showing off my giant arsenal and everything, which it's not all that big compared to most YouTubers, but, uh, it's still growing. But, uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get into the video. Here we go. So that was the unboxing of the Mega Big Shock. Uh, what should come in the packaging with the Big Shock is a Mega Big Shock and two, uh, Nerf Mega Rounds, which I don't know why Hasbro would do this, but the Mega Rounds that go with the Big Shock are actually different than you would find in, like, a Mega Round Pack or a... Other mega gun, I don't know why Hasbro would do that, but they do. It's different with the Big Shock because the Big Shock is special. So, uh, some features about the Big Shock is it is not compatible with a front barrel attachment, nor is it compatible with a stock back attachment, because, like I said before, this is supposed to be kind of like a side gun, a pocket gun where you can, like, slip it in your pocket or something, but, um, yeah, how you fire the gun is there is a little priming handle down here. You just wrap your fingers around that, pull it down, and then shoot it. And that should fire the gun. That was a little funky, but it should fire the round out of the gun, sorry. And uh, one round fits nice and tight in that barrel, just like so. And then something that uh, Nerf did with the Big Shock that I love is they made a storage compartment up top. Also with kind of like a little sight. It's got a little hole on the top, so you can kind of like see it if you want to scope for like close uh, combat. But I wouldn't really suggest doing that because this is a small gun meant for kind of like, oh... There's a guy there, I'll shoot in his direction, but hope for the best. But, um, yeah, another round fits in there, nice and good, so you can hold two rounds. Uh, I already showed you how to fire it, but, um, yeah, let's take it out to the range and let's see how it does. Here we go. So, new area I forgot to talk about in the beginning video. This is the current firing range. It is about 10, uh, 10 feet from the wall to the window yes this is a blanket it is just kind of help catch the darts i will be building a contraption but for now i am firing in here at a blanket i will be firing out in the hallway at a bin catcher very very soon but here we go we're going to be firing 10 rounds with the mega big shock here we go Super awesome 360 shot. Ah, yes. So that was the Mega Big Shock out on the range, and uh, it is actually pretty powerful for a gun its size, considering it is a Jolt reskin. And if you don't know what a Jolt is, then you should really nerf more often. But yeah, uh, this is essentially just a Mega Jolt shoots Mega rounds. But yeah, overall the performance was really good. I fired 10 rounds into a chronograph machine which gave me an average of 54 feet per second, which is actually very low for any Nerf gun, but uh, very low for the Mega Series. But for pistols, I would say it's average, but I just expect more from the Big Shot because it's Mega and it's a larger gun. But I love it, love the overall design. Um, I love how they designed it and how they made the handle large. This is good for like a little kid that has like some small fingers it's very good because they can have like a small grip on it but me i have pretty large hands and i can comfortably fit my hand around this it's a solid uh one piece gun very good very strong doesn't wiggle nothing loose no loose parts doesn't bend or anything very good gun um then again this is a close quarter combat gun but i guess that you could use this little hole like i said before as a scope but um yeah, I love the gun overall. This is currently on the U.S. market for around six U.S. dollars to fifteen U.S. dollars. Then again, it does depend where you get it. Whether you get it at like a store such as Walmart or Smith's, or if you get it somewhere like on Amazon, Amazon will be cheaper. As just about always with every single Nerf gun, I would always recommend getting all your Nerf equipment and stuff online on Amazon, never on eBay. 
But, um, yeah, Amazon's the place to go for Nerf. But, um, yeah, I think that that concludes the review, and let's go on into the outro. Here we go. Thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of the video, and thank you for watching in general. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button, and at, while you are at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed and you don't have the bell on, click that bell and get it on so that you get notified whenever I make one of these amazing videos. So, yeah, just do it. And don't forget to share with your friends. Let's make this channel grow. We've already hit 10 subscribers within the first two videos. But yeah, let's try and get to 100 subscribers by the end of 2018. If we do that, I will be sure to do something really, really big. I promise I will. But um, yeah, it'll be tons of fun. Don't forget to also comment down below if you want to see anything in particular. I will be giving you a heads up on what I'm going to be doing in the next video. The next video will be me modifying the Big Shock. So that it is compatible with the rival rounds and so that it will actually shoot them. As you can see, it fits in, but it won't shoot. So we are going to fix that in the next video. So don't forget to stay tuned. And if you want to see it, don't forget to hit subscribe and get the bell on so that you get notified when it comes out. Because why wouldn't you want to be notified when it comes out? Whatever. But yeah, let's hit 100 subs before 2019. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. And we will see you next time. Goodbye.